Hi, welcome back. I thought I would look at what's new and exciting in skincare for autumn. Some of these things are tweaks of existing products. Some are completely new. One is something that I've managed to track down on Amazon and get delivered because I know a lot of you have been talking about it. There's a new body hair and skincare range, although at the moment I've only got the body range of it. I'm gonna look at the Fenty Skin Launch. I know it's not new, but so many people asked about it. And then two new High Street Hyaluronics that are really lovely and reasonably priced as well. So let's dive straight in. Let's start with the cleanser that everybody's talking about. This is the brand new CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. You know, you know they have a hydrating gel cleanser that's loaded with um, ceramides. Um, it's an amino acid, non-foaming, really lovely. It's my favorite cleanser out of the range. And then they have a foaming cleanser for oilier skins. The gel, hydrating gel one is really loaded with hyaluronic acid for drier skins like mine, medium to dry skins like mine. This is a sort of halfway house. It's the new generation amino acid gel cleanser. And so this is how it works. And I've been checking it out for a good week before I decided to report back. And actually it's not for me, but that doesn't mean to say it's not a great cleanser. What I did was use it exactly the same way I used my hydrating gel cleanser, which was I dampen my skin, put a couple of pumps in, massage it into my skin, and then it gently starts to foam, but it's not like a traditional foam cleanser. And then I used my microfiber cloth, got rid of every scrap of makeup, nice and hydrating on your skin. For me, then when you rinse it off and you rinse your hands away, then it starts to foam in the base of the basin and I think that's because of, I apply it to my damp skin, massage it all in and then sort of wipe it off and rinse. I don't do the sort of lots of splashes. Maybe then you'll get used to the foaming and if you use lots of water on your skin, maybe you'll get that foaming sensation. I actually found it slightly more dehydrating on my skin than the traditional gel one, which I think is really interesting. So this is what I think, this is where I fits. It's, I think it sits in your routine. I think the gel one is for drier skins, this one is for normal skins, and the foaming one is for oilier skins. I would recommend it to most people though, in the shower, especially if you've got normal to slightly oily skin, it gets rid of every scrap of makeup, it's a nice one. Look out for more amino acids cleansers, it's the, the technology that's gonna take over all of the cleansing area. Now let's talk about this. So many of you talk about this and I'm not even sure what to call this apart from the fact that it's Hadalabo and I call it premium gold. And I got this on Amazon and I'm gonna go on to talk about two new hyaluronic acids as well. Now's the time of year to step up your hyaluronic acid. A lot of people say to me, when I use a hyaluronic acid, it feels quite dry and tight and liquidy. And I get that with the Hado Labo UK one and two, the red and white ones. And what I think is missing from the Hado Labo UK US brand is this. And this is a much thicker, more glycerin based, gloopy hyaluronic acid like that. And that's just what we need at this time of year, I think in the UK. I think what Hadalabo need to do UK is bring this and call it Hadalabo Rich or Hadalabo Gold or Hyaluronic Acid Gold or whatever you want to call it. This has glycerin in it as well, I'm pretty sure, although obviously I can't read the instructions. Uh, but it just doesn't really ever dry and tighten on the skin. Now, I don't mind hyaluronic acids that dry and tighten on the skin because I go straight in with a glycerin-based milky serum anyway, but that is basically both of your hydrating serums in one, and I do like it, and it's well worth getting off Amazon. This is the real product. Probably took about two weeks, and I got it from Japan. So, uh, Labo, Tokyo, UK, US, bring that over here. Um, I do think that there's a lot of drier skins and skins that just like slip because that makes a great makeup base as well that would want that third version of the hyaluronic acid. So this is the Hado Labo Premium Gold and it's the one that I'm now using into winter. If they had it in the UK brand, I'd recommend it. I suggest that more products will be coming and that'll be one of the ones that will be coming over here. Now, two new hyaluronics on the market. This one actually launched during lockdown, so I'm not sure a lot of you saw it. This is the new L'Oreal Revitalift filler, and it's 1.5% hyaluronic acid, and it's a multi-molecular. And this falls very much into that category. So if you don't want to risk buying on Amazon, and you want a, a thicker, I would say more gloopy blend of hyaluronic acid, see that, rather than watery, running down my hand, this is a really nice one. Available on the high street, lightly fragranced, unlike the Hadalabo, but 
really nice multi-molecular sits on the skin hydrates give us gives a slip to the skin it's just a really 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 nice hyaluronic acid for this time of year if you want to step up um i think that l'oreal do really nice hyaluronic acids i just like the fact that they've gone this way so in a dropper format um they have got the little capsules which are brilliant for traveling but for everyday use you just need to drop and that's a really nice product there's nothing else to say about it it's just a great multi-molecular hyaluronic acid at one and a half percent i think the optimum for hyaluronic acid is two percent anyway gives a nice slip to the skin instantly plumps all those little fine lines you might need a another serum over the top of it it's not quite as slippy as this one but it's a great hyaluronic acid for this time of year when you want to step up from that sort of watery lotion it's great and then this one this is the elizabeth arden and this is the ceramide hyaluronic capsules now obviously we're going up in price here but if you already have bought into the concept of ceramides for your skin from elizabeth arden 30 years ago they launched the same year that i became a beauty editor they were the first people ever to talk to us about um ceramides which you know what ceramides are right they're the they're, it's the sticky stuff that holds the skin cells together i always liken it to the mortar in a brick wall bricks are fine but if you don't actually stick them together with mortar you can just go along and push them and water will come in and they won't be waterproof and you know ceramides are the same with your skin cells think of your skin cells as your skin bricks think of ceramides as the the glue that sticks your bricks together the better quality your ceramides the better your skin will be at keeping irritants out and water in the better hydrated it will be well obviously these are mono doses don't worry they're biodegradable and here you've got that classic which is what I would use as my second step actually look at that on top of a watery, watery hyaluronic acid you've got that that typical ceramide creamy serum which i really love except that you don't need a hyaluronic acid first with this i'm going to have the most youthful hands ever because it's got the hyaluronic acid in as well as the ceramide that makes you know that makes the most beautiful base under makeup it doesn't peel at all <gasps> feels like velvet on the skin this falls into there so they've got the advanced ceramide capsules they've got retina one the vitamin c one this is the brand new one that if you're going to be traveling any time at all on a plane they are the perfect travel companion i really like those oh that's like velvet on the skin i've got the most hydrated hands ever this is the point at which i should be taking hand picks rather than when they're all dehydrated and i've neglected them now let's talk about Fenty Skin. So many of you have asked me about Fenty Skin. It's a simple three-step process and I've got likes and dislikes about the brand. Let's start with the cleanser. This is the Fenty Skin Cleanser, a uh, total cleanser. Um, I, I tell you what I do love about it. I really love the packaging. I love the fact that you twist off and it comes out there like that. Why they had to make it pink, why they had to make it pearlescent, why they had to make it smell like the cheapest fragrance known to mankind all vanillary hibiscusy barely barely foaming cleanser really does get rid of everything leaves this leaves the skin nice and clean why you make it smell like that i mean vanillary fruity florally i just don't get that i don't get that in a cleanser and it does the the, the fragrance hangs around for a while essentially what you're getting is you're getting a sort of souped up pearlescent pink sexy version of that uh i don't dislike it if you're buying into the whole idea of fenty then that makes sense to me um it's not the hero in the the range by far it's not the hero in the range what i think about it is i think it's a really nice cleanser i think it's overly fragranced i think they had no reason to make it that fragrance and the irony is is that the the hero product in the brand well the next two products are better than the cleanser anyway but the hero product in the brand which is the refillable spf actually smells quite nice it's got a much lighter slightly more citrusy easy to live with fragrance so on to those hero products Let's start with Fat Water, which is just the most cleverly <laughs> named product ever because that's exactly what it is. If you've ever said to yourself, how do I, um, how do I incorporate a toner? If you think of a toner as being something watery and dehydrating into your skin, then this is the one for you. Again, I love the twist off, easily accessed top. And then what you end up with is, this is gorgeous. And do you know the interesting thing is, 
this smells okay. This is what I don't understand. Like the fragrance in the, the cleanser smells more like a cheap shower gel. But this is just absolutely exquisite. I even like the color of it, the texture of it. The fragrance is sort of like the cleanser, but much lighter, obviously, because it's designed to be formulated to be left on the skin. That's just great. That's such a nice hydrating, super hydrating, line plumping, sits on the skin. I'd sit it sort of, if I was to, to grade my hyaluronic acid, that's the richest because it's got the ceramides in. That comes next. And then sort of Fenty is sitting around here which gives you an idea of where it should sit in terms of price as well. It's a great product, really stylish, really lovely, love it. And then obviously this is kind of all types of genius. A, because it's refillable, there you go, which is where every single skincare product should be sitting. So this you take back, they'll take the empty off you and refill it. It fits in there perfectly, twist up, twist down at the bottom. And what you end up with is just a really, really lovely, lightweight, hydrating lotion with an SPF 30 in, and the SPF 30 is suitable for all skin types. Now, it's really interesting because when it comes out, it's slightly pinky, almost sort of soft simmer, shil silvery, shimmery, silvery, shimmery. Um, and so a lot of you would, would instantly think if this from any of anybody else, say this was from uh, Lady Gaga, you go, is that suitable for all skin tones? Is that suitable for black skins? Obviously, this was co-created by Rihanna. I mean, she gets that she needs things to be available for all skin tones, and then suddenly it disappears. And what you end up with is this super lightweight. Now, this is interesting, slightly citrusy, actually smells really nice, really sophisticated, really beautiful product. You wouldn't be surprised to find that I'm not kidding you, in something like Augustinus Beda or SkinCeuticals, that is the most beautiful SPF. Light, easy to use, hydrating, gives a nice soft focus, sort of light reflective look to the skin. It's beautiful. So there you go. That is my review of Fenty Skin by Rihanna. That, just take the pearlescent out, take the pink out, take the fragrance out, give it the same fragrance as the SPF 30, which is light, slightly citrusy. I mean, yes, it's got a floral base to it, but it's light, citrusy, easy to use. And you've got a perfect range. I also love the fact that obviously it's US compliant. I'm not sure if you can see that. What I will do is um, I'll take a shot of it for you. Uh, so this is the Hydra Visor, which is the SPF, obviously. And I love the fact that you've got the all the, everything that's listed in it as being active on the back, just like they do have in all American products. So it's got um, avobenzone, homosalate, and octisalate. Uh, they're the SPFs in it, obviously. And then um, it tells you how to apply it, apply it every two hours. I mean, it's just, and you'll not be surprised to hear that the ingredients in the SPF are water and glycerin. Glycerin for the win at all times. Uh, it's got a little bit of uh, safflower on it. Um, let's have a look, niacinamide, uh, hyaluronic acid, sodium hyaluronate, which is the salt version of it as well. I mean, it's just really, really, it's got aloe vera in it as well. It's just really nicely formulated. I mean, I have to say, in defense of the EU, the EU have a better selection of SPF sunscreens available than they do in the US. Uh, so, uh, but it's obviously been formulated for the US and the EU market, therefore it complies to the FDA approved sunscreen lists. There you go, that's my review of Fenty. I mean, I, you know, I think she's done quite a, a reasonable job. I really do, I love the way I say she, like she's been in the lab for God's sake. I mean, obviously Fenty is owned by LVMH, which is the Dior, um, uh, Guerlain group, benefit group, even though it's owned at, technically by Kendo, which is the sort of, it's the new product division, new range division, the sort of hothouse division, but it is owned by LVMH. So there you go. Good, bad, indifferent. Mainly good, I have to say. And I'm gonna finish with, no, I've got two things actually. Let's talk about emulsion. Emulsion is something that's gonna hit your stores, hit your screens, hit your psyche in the near future. Now, emulsion actually was launched two years ago. And I think it was a little bit, hit and miss and a little bit ahead of the game. Now, technically, 
not aimed at me, a bit like Fenty really, uh, but very interesting for a reason. So Emulsion is a hair, skin and body range that allows you to use your base, which is doesn't really have any actives in. I mean, obviously the cleanser will cleanse your body. The body cream will hydrate your body. And then what you do is you then choose what you add to it. So they have shampoos and conditioners as well. They have skincare, but the skincare have kind of been taken off the market. But I do know that it's going to be launched in terms of facial skincare. And then what you add to it is you add your, um, you add your actives, which are essential oil-based actives okay for the body which is why I'm telling you about the body products and technically for your scalp as well um, and then you add a fragrance to it that but they're all essential oil based now when they launched skincare originally you could add um, exfoliating beads you could add I think you could add acids to it originally now this is the interesting thing okay is is I was under the impression that you undo this yeah and then you add your actives to it and you shake it up and you're ready to go right but oh no they say you do it in the palm of your hand while you're in the shower. How easy is that? That's not easy, right? Two pumps of shampoo, a spritz of essential oils, a spritz of fragrance and go. And then you do it in the shower with the shower gel. Isn't it easier just to stick them in there? And then it's ready and then you've just got one bottle in your shower rather than three bottles in your shower. They didn't ask me to consult on it, so they haven't listened to me. <laughs> um, I think it's an interesting one to watch. One, if you want unfragranced products, you can just buy the bases. And they say they're not, they have no actives in them. Of course they have actives in them. That obviously has detergents in it, and they're really nice ones. That obviously has humectants and moisturizers and em emollients in it. Um, so you could technically use them as an unscented shampoo, conditioner, at the moment, body shower, bath, and body lotion range, skincare is coming. Um, or you could just choose the essential oils you want to make your shampoo and your body products smell nice. You know what I think, I wouldn't use essential oils, nipples up. Anyway, I just think there is a risk that they are irritating on the skin. I'm actually, a lot of people think I'm anti-fragrance. I'm not anti-fragrance, but I am anti-essential oils in facial skincare. But that is emulsion anyway. What I'm saying is, have a look at it, see what you think of it. Have any of you used it? Come back to me and let me know. They took all the skincare, I think, off the market and then reworked it. I mean, originally I think it was sort of crushed up flower bits for and coffee grinds for sort of exfoliating your skin. I'm not a huge fan of physical exfoliants anyway at the best of times. Let's see what they do with the skincare moving forward. But it's a new brand to watch out for. That is Emulsion Skin and Hair Care. The Emulsion Hair Care, by the way, is already available in Boots. And then finally, you know I've been banging on about this all summer. This is Clinicept Plus, which is the professional, although it was available at Boots for a short while. Uh, this is the professional aftercare disinfectant that a lot of facialists use, tattoo artists use, piercing artists use. Anyway, what it is, is it's um, a, a form of a sodium hypochlorite, which is essentially bleach, but it's a hypochlorous, which is completely safe to use on the skin, non-irritating, kills most bacteria, viruses, fungus that live on the skin. So it's absolutely brilliant if you've got a breakout, a cut, a scratch, a cold sore, anything like that at all. I've even used this on my perioral dermatitis. It's brilliant. I also use it, I was talking about the fact that I use it on my ears when my ears, you know, even though I have to say, I never change my earrings. Um, and partly because I've got quite sensitive ears. And these are um, diamond studs in um, white gold. And that's a little gold one there. For some reason, I'm still allergic to them. You know, as Joe would say, her diamond shoes are too tight. Uh, but I also think if you spray this on more back and front, I think it basically just keeps your earrings clean if you're not regularly changing them. Anyway, enough of Clinicept because it has been rebranded and very slightly tweaked for you and I to use because technically that was only for the professionals, the tattoo artists, the facialists who are doing extractions, milieu extractions, stuff like that, um, and the piercers. So that technically has been moved to one side and we now have Clinicept smooth. Now, the only difference I can see in terms of the formulation is water, sodium hypochlorite, and then uh, the phosphoric acid. And the phosphoric acid is something that is added to food. It's a preservative, essentially. 
So the only difference I can see is that they've, they've sw swooped around. This one had more phosphoric acid in than sodium hypochlorite. This now has more sodium hypochlorite in it. Um, it comes in two formulations now, or two applicators, I should say. One like that, that you can then put on a cotton wool bud or just put it into your hands and apply to your skin. Or what I like, which is a little spray like that. There you go. Now I have to say it does smell of bleach. It smells of sodium hypochlorite. It does. Um, but the, the, when sodium hypochlorite becomes hypo, sodium hypochlorous, it's safe to use on the skin and it's pH balanced and it's super gentle. Now, of all the antimicrobials that you could use on your skin, and let's be honest, back in the day we were using things like Dettol and um, what was that kind of orangey, what was that orangey liquid? I'm going to have to put it up here that we used to just, um, but that my mum used to put on cuts and grazes. And, and actually, when you have an operation now, occasionally you see it being sort of swabbed onto, is it iodine solution? I think it is iodine solution. Swabbed onto cuts before they cut open bodies in things like Grey's Anatomy, but obviously in real life as well. Anyway, uh, this is a much more gentle version. It's a technology that's been around for ages, but the sodium hypochlorous makes it safe to use on your skin. If you've got anybody that's got cold sores, breakouts, spots, it's a great product. It really is a great product. I highly recommend it. I've had zero irritation. And what's interesting is even if your skin is slightly sore with perioral dermatitis or a cold sore, it doesn't sting when it goes on your skin. I really like it. I was introduced to it by Pam Marshall of Mortra Milk, who's a facialist that uses it in her battle against breakouts and acne. For me, I just use it. It's one of those things I would keep on hand. If you were ever raised with Dettol or an iodine solution by your parents, it's there. Children fall over, scrape their knees, you can use it to spray. You know, if your earrings are playing up, cold sore, perioral dermatitis, a little breakout, a little spot, that's where it is. It sits in that category. It sits in your skincare SOS kit. That's everything that's new and exciting in skincare for autumn. Quite a lot, I must say. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'll put all the details of all the products down below. Let me know if you've tried anything new and exciting, what you're doing with your hyaluronic acid as we're going through the change of the season, because obviously we're now going to mid to late September. We're definitely coming up into autumn. The weather has completely changed here. The temperatures have dropped by 10 degrees. Suddenly, everybody needs hydration. These are some nice lightweight ways to do it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'll see you soon.